Hello, Internet. This is the root. I have some rather disappointing news for those that are used to using Linux as a test bed. You know, having a separate USB installation as a test bed for a non UEFI system. Yes, a non UEFI system. Such as what I use right now. I exhausted all efforts on trying to get it to install on several drives. USB hard disk, USB <coughs> SSD, and a flash drive. I'm just showing you a random flash drive, but I tried to get it installed on three different fucking flash drives, and here's the problem. This bug in the ubiquity installer points grub to nowhere and thus sorry for that it will not boot at all it just shows a path which doesn't exist path to nowhere i follow the instructions on the forums they point to nowhere because ever since the ubiquity installer came on Nobody that's using, that wants to install Linux Mint or Ubuntu on flash drives can ever do that again on non-UEV systems. That means just legacy, straight legacy BIOS that do not have any such UEV. This system doesn't have it. So I don't have a way of getting a test bed installed. So I can verify if the newer version of the AMD GPU drivers, or sorry, modules, don't break the system. And that I don't gotta tumble about of a clean install every single fucking time an update is released. Because if it breaks shit, breaks packages, I can't remove it or I cannot upgrade it. Much less anything else. Now, the only other way you can install a test bed is, well, you have to put another drive in your machine, and I don't want to keep swapping drives. Disable the first one, you have to do that. Install specific to that drive. Remove that drive, put it in a fucking enclosure, and then hope the fuck it actually boots off that drive when you plug it into the USB port. That's one other option. The second other option you have, clone the motherfucker to a USB drive. It doesn't matter what kind of USB drive it is. And manually install grub there and hopefully it actually fucking works. Yeah, hopefully it works. That's the other option. Yeah. That sucks. And I'm going to probably have to do it that way. As a test bed system. And I don't feel like cloning shit. So I may completely, you know, get rid of Windows entirely. I would never use it on the secondary drive. It just sits there. Doing nothing. I may use a secondary as a test bed and then great. I can verify if what I'm used what I'm upgrading is not gonna break everything. Saves from a complete clean install in the production system I have right now. But as for getting it on you can see this says UEV only. A USB flash drive or SSD or whatever. This was my target. You can't do that on non UEV systems no more. Because of a fucking bug with the ubiquity installer. I'm really shocked they have not moved away from that. I'm utterly shocked because yesterday I wasted eight bloody hours trying to get it working. Following all the instructions, fuck all. 
didn't work. I tried everything. Here's one problem. If I'm gonna use Debian, it's on here. It's not compatible with AMD GPU. It won't work. I've tried it. It breaks. And I get the no input signal issue where it shuts out the graphics upon loading X. So I can't use that. So I'd love to use it. I'd fucking love to. And I really wish I didn't buy the AMD graphics. I should have just went NVIDIA. Wouldn't have had that problem entirely. But I chose that. So I can, I'm rather limited to Ubuntu or whatever base distributions. And that sucks. But, yeah. If they go away with the Ubiquiti installer, that avoids that bootloader bug. And then, number speaks for itself. If you know what I mean. So, I really fucking hope that secondary drive can be used as a test bed and that's about all i'm just very disappointed so non-efi users cannot cannot install especially if you got legacy machines that aren't efi at all period you know what i'm talking about cannot install Linux Mint and external media ever again because of that fucking bug. However, Debian and everything else, you can because it doesn't use that installer. This is how to make this video blog. A little bit long, guess. Am I disappointed? Fuck yeah, I am, you bet. Anyways, that's all I gotta say. Maybe one day they'll fix that problem. But I have little hope for that. They'll move from that installer. I have very little fucking hope. They should use Debian's. It just works. I mean, seriously. Anyways, that's all. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe. Doesn't cost a thing. Yeah. If you got the, if you got a complete UEFI system, you're fine. It'll work. If anyone else has got a legacy system, Ubiquiti installer in that bug, you know what it says to you? Better luck next time. Or forever. <sighs> I'm considering getting a new machine because of this. I really am. It's been on the radar for a while. I'm going to hold out until this thing is at least 20 years old. You know what I mean. Cheers.